Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In April 2023, it was reported that Indian Army has inducted Nagastr 1 by Sula Industries which has been procured under emergency procurement process. This is the first indigenously designed and developed loitering munition inducted by Indian Army. Nagastr 1 which has more than 80% indigenous content can carry 1.5 kilograms of warhead to a range of 15 kilometers. It has endurance of 60 minutes with accuracy of less than 2 meters. It can be launched with hand and ground based launcher. Earlier, Indian Army has inducted 100 units of each Sky Striker and Warmet lottery munitions from Israeli and Poland forms, respectively. The Sky Striker has a range of 20 kilometers, endurance of 2 hours and can carry warhead of 5 kilograms. The Polish Warmet has operational radio line of sight of 30 kilometers with maximum payload of 5.7 kilograms. It can carry two types of warheads which are high explosive and thermobaric. In September 2021, Indian Army has also awarded new space research and technologies rupees 1200 crore worth contract to supply 100 swarm drone units. These drones can carry out strikes against targets at a distance of up to 25 kilometers with 5 to 10 kilograms of explosives. Indian Army has placed two orders of swarm of 50 drones each. The Indian Air Force is also boosting its lottery munition arsenal with induction of first batch of advanced lottery system ALS-50 designed and developed by Tata Advanced Systems Limited TSL. Indian Air Force has planned to procure 100 of these lottery munitions. The ALS-50 is an indigenously designed, developed and manufactured lottery munition system for advanced warfare useful for armed forces of India in both surveillance and combat scenarios. It is being indigenously developed and is adapted to the wide variety of Indian terrain and weather conditions and has already undergone trials at high altitudes of Ladakh and hot conditions of Rajasthan. ALS can be equipped with different types of warhead as per the operational requirement. It is completely autonomous and requires minimum area to launch and minimum operator intervention for its flight and targeting system. It is capable of feeding live video via chin-mounted EOIR sensor. The EOIR camera with its precise targeting algorithm and live feed allows the user to guide the munition as required. The lottery munition has a length of 2.4 meters, wingspan of 3.8 meters and maximum takeoff weight of 50 kg. It can take off like a quadcopter and transition into fixed wing mode during flight for long distance travel. It is capable of launching missions up to a distance of 50 km and can perform real-time targeting either by operator or autonomously. The lottery munition has endurance of more than an hour and it can be launched from altitude of 4000 meter from mean sea level. The UAV can carry a range of anti-personnel, anti-armor warheads weighing up to 6 kilograms, including explosive formed penetrator EFP warhead. The accuracy of system has been tested to be less than 2 meters and adequate to carry out the precision strike. In case the mission has to be aborted, this UAV can easily be recovered given its VTOL capability. It uses battery powered electric motor which makes it a silent killer. It can also operate in GPS denied environment. It can operate in three modes which are lotter mode, attack mode and return home mode. With built-in multiple fail-safe features, the system can be aborted after launch, recovered and made to re-attack same or a different target. In future, LS-50 can also be integrated with artificial intelligence and swarming capabilities depending on the requirement of armed forces. The weapon is also likely to be contender for export orders given an increased demand for such system worldwide. Back in October 2022, it was reported that Armenia also wanted to buy Tata LS-50 lottery munitions for use by its special force units. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind.
We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.